In Drew Zeus, the women are given stereotypical roles in the movie. Kinder Kirche is a German slogan coined in the Third Reich. It means children, kitchen, and church. Dorothea, the Aryan German woman character, especially portrays this role and theme very well in the movie. Women are shown to be loyal, gentle, submissive, and motherly. They always play the supportive role, and their job is to be a homemaker. There is emphasis put on being a housewife, having kids, cooking, and cleaning. Basically, this is Nazi ideology that stressed domesticity, motherhood, and subordination. The Nazis removed church and emphasized home. In the beginning of the movie, Dorothea gets told to go to the kitchen by her dad. She is portrayed as a typical cook and homemaker. He orders her to serve and cut the meat, and she immediately does her duty. The men don't serve themselves. The women do the housework, while the men have jobs and are considered to be breadwinners. Also, in the beginning of the movie, Dorothea sings a song to her fiancé who is playing the piano. This also displays her loyalty and devotion to him. Women are shown to be sexual objects throughout this movie as well. In one scene, the Duke picks one of the dancers from the ballet performance and she comes to him. She immediately bows down to the Duke after being called to him. She is sub subservient and willing. No questions are asked when he calls her. He gives her a ring and they kiss. The Duke has no respect for women. He is married, but he still has many affairs. They always show the women as being gentle. They dance ballet and perform arts, as shown by the scene where the Duke is granted a private performance. They do not show women to be working in professional careers. Men are always in power and control positions. <laughs> The Duke's lecherous view of women is a prevalent theme in the movie. Suze Oppenheimer holds a masquerade for the Duke. He invited all the councilmen's daughters. He separated the young woman to an isolated room for the Duke's viewing pleasure. The Duke fondles the young woman and views them like livestock. Some cry and their body parts are shown, but they are still forced to dance with the Duke. They do whatever the Duke desires. They have no self-will and must serve the men. In another particular scene with his wife, the Duke shrugs his wife away when she tries to help him. He says, this isn't for women. The women don't fight back when they are disrespected by the men. They willingly follow their commands, and they have no say in important matters. Dorothea eventually commits suicide when she gets raped by Zeus. Her guilty conscience causes her to do this. Dorothea doesn't fight against Zeus for forcing himself on her, and she doesn't try to punish him after he violated her. Instead, she felt disgraced and ashamed to be dishonored by someone who is Jewish. This causes her to think that her only option is to die. compare these two characters, you can see a big difference between the roles they had to play. Dorothea is portrayed to be fragile, innocent, and subservient to the men in her family. 
On the other hand, Scarlet from Gone with the Wind is independent, fierce, and she does what her heart desires. She is willing to fight for what she believes in. Of course, Dorothea is loyal to her family, and try not to succumb to Zeus. However, her character was shown to be weak and powerless, especially since she committed suicide in the end.